Skip Kinnett, and I am the owner of Greengate Farms, a certified organic farm here in Austin, Texas. Our definition of local for int all intensive purposes usually generally means Texas, um, and that's that's partially to allow us to kind of give a good broad offering of grocery products to our customers. But I would say the more generally accepted, stricter definition of local is within 200 miles. There's different definitions, but the one I like the most is 150 miles. Just because in 150 miles, you can get in your car and drive to that farm and drive back, potentially, and get to know that farmer and have a relationship. And as a consumer, um, you can do more to contribute to a zero waste economy when you're buying locally. Long transportation definitely affects flavor. You can reuse uh, the containers that the product is being delivered in. People that are shipping things over long distances uh, you know, will pick something that isn't right because it ships better. You can understand how food is being produced. Uh, if you're buying from somewhere far away, that's either impossible or very difficult. There's a couple of reasons to buy local. Um, one is it's good for the economy. Less transport time, so you're gonna get fresher produce. Understand where your money's going. Better quality. It's, it's easier to work on some of our zero waste goals. The farmer is able to um, pack those ingredients a little nicer where they don't have to worry about is this gonna go on air freight or, you know. When you're not buying local, you're supporting really large and um, sort of anonymous economies that are tied to all kinds of hidden or external um, factors. And the people come to where the food is grown. So suddenly people are coming out to the farm or to the farmer's market and there's three things that happen then. They get to know the farmer, they create community, they get to see how the food is being grown, and they keep their dollars in the local economy. Our customers kind of expect to for us to be, uh, you know, buying locally. And well, when you're a small farm like like we are, we that's all we sell is locally. Um, we could get bigger and then start selling maybe to different cities, but that requires us to get really, really big. And we like to stay as a small farm because we like to have that personal relationship. I always, I go through phases. Uh, Right now, I'm like really into grilled escarole. Right now, I'm really into cabbage. Potato. Why? Why? Because most people don't realize that a potato comes from under the ground. So, the one thing I really want people to understand is that this local food movement, there's no guarantee that it's going to continue and not just be a fad. You know, the, uh, 10 years from now, I want to really hope that my children and my grandchildren also have this opportunity to sell locally. And the only way it's going to happen is if you ask questions about your food. Be vigilant. Find out where it comes from, how it's grown. Mm -hmm.